Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana 22 for episode 9 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We're into November, people. It's November 1. As you've already seen, I think, uh, I was up at the crack of dawn. I hope you didn't mind. And um, I already got a one corn contract done. That's done and out of the way sorted uh we have got a load of work available which is brilliant um so i've taken on we've got a sunflower contract uh we've got a harvesting contract well they're both harvesting sunflower and corn but we've got a weeding contract now what i've been finding is this is just me personally i don't know if you'll find the same thing if you, if you skip through the night i was finding the, the weeding contracts were popping up and disappearing so what I did was went past midnight, the weeding contract popped up, so I took it on. But this comes with a caveat. Um, weirdly, most of the contracts you take on are pretty good. That one, 4,180. Borrow equipment for 170. That one, 5,531. Borrow equipment, 141. That one's a bit more expensive, but you're borrowing some big equipment, 9,271. Borrowing equipment will cost you 1977 The weeding contract pays 4231 To borrow the farmer's equipment was going to charge me 3000 and something. I can't remember what you, how much it was now. It was, yeah, it was 3009 It was going to charge me to borrow equipment. So I thought, okay, well, I've got a tractor, so I'll lease a weeder. It's got to be cheaper, hasn't it? I think. <laughs> we'll see. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, luckily as well, today we've got a result. Um, Leroy and Sheila are engaged. They're engaged to be married. How lovely is that? But the good thing about that is it means they are happy for us to use their equipment, both sets of equipment, on both contracts. Hey, it works. It's good. So we're going to go up to the, the uh, store. We're going to lease a weeder. We're going to go into the weeding contract. Don't worry, it will get light fairly quickly. And then we'll go over, we'll get two harvesters running on the sunflower contract, then we'll get two harvesters running the corn contract. There is a ploughing contract for 10 grand. And I want to get one of these done. Hopefully the weeding one, well, the weeding one should be done first. We'll get that done. And then hopefully I'll pick up the, the ploughing contract because that one's, uh, that's a 10 grand one. So it's, it's well worth doing, even if it takes me a while to do it. Now, while we're doing this, um, the mayor has been in touch. The things we've been talking about with regard to the train. So AJ Farmer has been in touch. Plus, I, I was on my Discord having a look at the Discord chat and various things that have been going on. And I've said about the forum that AJ Farmer's got up and running, talking about the map and various different things. And people have been trying out different options, trying different things, seeing what might be causing issues with train deliveries and delivery to Mount Vernon and that kind of thing. So I said that the Omatana Open Gardens were causing it, or, or one of the causes of it, because that allowed co um, cotton and things like that to be loosely loaded. Um, so the, the message says that 1.2, the new version of the map, should eradicate most of the problems. However, it turns out the auger wagon with lime, uh, the auger wagon with lime mod, and that's by TF2020 mods. In the description for that, it says uh, this mod adds lime and pig food to all auger wagons. In addition, trains can um, also transport everything that normal trailers do. So what a lot of people have found is that the auger wagon with lime mod is also causing problems with trains and train deliveries. So if you've got the auger wagon with lime mod or the Omatana gardens mod, open gardens mod, if you deselect both of those, it should be okay. Now what I have found since, and we also in the last episode had a new selling station put in, that a lot of my contracts now are pinging up for delivery there, which doesn't bother me, it's great. Um, no, it does say the better contract mod was just helping expose them faster. Now, better contract mod, that's on PC, that's not console one. So that's the situation. I've come to the wrong place because I'm too busy talking. I'm going to go and grab my tractor. Actually, while we're here, the weeder, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a very big weeder. Now, this is my first weeding on, well, most games for quite some time. I think I'm just going to go for the Aerostar Exact. It's a six metre. It's not going to be expensive to lease. It should do the job. 484 as opposed to three grand. 
And that one does say weed is put out. Yeah, well, it's saying that it's small weeds. The contract definitely says small weeds. We'll double check just to make sure. Weeding. Remove the small weeds in field 19 using a weeder. Yeah, it should be right. So I'm going to go and grab a tractor. I can actually, is it a three point link attacher or is it a train trail attacher? I wasn't paying that much attention to the attacher. Just that, oh no, it's three point. Oh, okay. And we'll go and get that weeding done. I've got that spare, but that's not mine, that's part of the contract. Well, one of the contracts for the sunflower of the corn, it might be the corn contract. Uh, we've got a pinnacle um, semi, we've got a Mac. So. We're going to use that for those contracts. It's going to hold far more and it should work out really good. Lights on. Let's go and get this weed up. I don't know why I'm quite excited about doing the weeding. <laughs> I won't be as excited about doing the weeding when I'm doing my own fields, my own contracts. And there's all the various different things with shallow cultivation, uh, ploughing, smaller weeds, larger weeds. I'm, I'm still a bit... I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm still a bit... Not cross, but frustrated, I guess, when I said originally when the game came out, because I'm pretty sure it's still, it's not just precision farming, isn't it? To do with the, um, it's in there or there? So in here, if we come down to, where are we? Removing weeds. Does it still say it there? There are three method, methods to remove weeds using a weeder, using a hoe, or spraying herbicide with the sprayer. Uh, where are we? It doesn't actually say. So I'm sure if you use herbicide, don't you, you lose yield? It drops the yield by quite a bit. With that whole kind of thing of, you know, the world trying to move away from pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, all those kind of things and it should be a more organic system and we should be doing it with mechanical weeders and stuff like that. So if you use a herbicide, you take a, so you take a hit on the yield. I, I disagree. If the weeds grow and you leave the weeds, the crops contaminate with whatever you then harvest in with it and you take a yield hit. Using the herbicide, whilst it might not be great for the environment, so you're being punished for it not being good for the environment, but why would you take a yield hit? It's, it's better for the yield if you're using the herbicide. I don't know. I know it's one of those kind of... It's, it's an oversimplified look at it. I, I get that. But, um... I don't know. It's just, just frustrating. So at the moment, we've got a mechanical weeder, which is fine. But we'll see how we stand when we get to uh, doing our own stuff. Uh, hopefully I won't let anything get to a point where I'm going to need herbicides. If we can get a mechanical weeder... I honestly don't know at what point we're going to end up doing our own fields because, like I said, hard mode, it's bad enough trying to get together the equipment you need. We've got a bit of land, we've got a shelter, we've now got a silo, which is great. We've got some second-hand used equipment. Being able to afford to buy a large enough plot of land to turn it and make enough money on it, that's going to be a little bit trickier to do as well as then bigger equipment and stuff to actually do that. Is this the field I want? Is this the field you're looking for? We want to go to field 19. Let's check the old sat nag. No, that's... Oh, it's much further over. Okay. This is only a six metre weeder, so it's going to take a while. It's a fairly big field. So I don't know if we're not going to start on our sunflower, because that was the first sunflower we've done here as well. But we've got a really nice, um, really nice harvest, well two harvesters. We've got the Lexium, which we've used in a couple of contracts. But we've got a really nice John Deere X9 to use. So that I'm looking forward to that. Nice big harvester. And it looks brilliant. So both those contracts, well I said both those contracts, both the harvesters are down there for the contract there and then the other contract is right across the other side actually so we're going to be going from west to east. Have I gone the wrong way? 
I need to cross over to a ditch, I think, just going to the field. Oh, I might be able to turn in here, actually. I thought there was a drainage ditch or something in here. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, no, there is a drainage ditch. <laughs> I thought there was. Okay, so we have got some crop in the ground. And this is the field. The sun is coming up, don't worry. We'll, we'll, there'll be, it'll be better lighting in a little while. It won't take too long. Hopefully this works. So let's have a look first. That's our weed situation. There you go. You can just about see some of them. There you go. There's a couple. Yeah, you can see them. They're just a little bit lighter. So what we're hoping now is doing this. They're going to disappear. I'm looking behind, looks like we're getting them out. Which is what we wanted. Yeah. There we go, people. Mr. CDP running weeds and weeding. Who thought it would ever happen? <coughs> I did it on FS19. Was it Italia demo? The very last one I did, I put weeds on. There's a kind of last hurrah. And I was kind of, oh, I don't really want to do it again. So many people have messaged me and said, oh, go on, do it, you know. And to be fair, it gives you another thing to do. It's a new element, or a different element, should I say. It's not new, obviously. The games are a year old, but... And it was on FS19 as well, but... It's something I don't do very often, so I guess... Yeah, let's just check the contract. Just to make sure, for own peace of mind, progress 1%. Okay. This is going to take um, quite some time. So it will definitely be a lot lighter by the time we get the weeds done. So there are quite a few other contracts. There, is, there are a couple of soybean ones. Well, there's one soybean one at the moment. It's a fairly small field. We're not going to make a huge amount from it. The contract I did in the dark, the, the corn one, that I just wanted to kind of get it done and out of the way. I think I delivered, well, there was about 40, 42 and a half thousand litres came off the field and I delivered well it's just under 40 we were left with 3,125 litres of corn that's just got in my silo with the other corn we've got um, but it's uh, yeah we got a little bit from it wasn't a huge amount soybean one I don't think it's a particularly large contract where are we I still can't do that one soybean 2,917 yeah it's not that one that one's one from before isn't it so I don't, yeah, we'll see. There we go, we're getting light already. You can see some of the weeds to the left hand side disappearing as we go. Actually, it looks like it's mulching, so it's taking a load of stuff off the grass as well, isn't it? At least it's working as it should do uh, on the field. It'd be a little bit easier to see as it gets lighter anyway, won't it? Just looking where we can see the weeds. There we go, look. The weeds. <laughs> Shut the contract again, just to make sure it's all going good. We're at 3% now, rocking and rolling. We should have this done by tea time. I probably should have care wheels, um, row crops, row crop tyres on, so I don't damage the crop. But it is very young, we should be okay. The bigger the weeder, the more expensive it was to lease, um, and obviously the horsepower requirements and stuff. Yes, it's only six metres wide, it's not a huge tractor, plus I'm trying to maximise my profit from the contract. You know, at the end of the day, there's no outlay on this. I could have done this contract 
the difference between the what was it 4,200 and the 3,009 to lease I still would have made over a grand but yeah I just thought this way at least we maximise it now looking across the field I'm thinking it's just going to take so long isn't it we do need to get to a point where we own more I actually went so I thought I'll have a look in the brochure let's see what other weeders are available because there might be other weeders that are much bigger and cheaper and that kind of thing but we haven't got that many weeders there's a few um, of the various different harrows and grassland bits of equipment some double up and do multiple jobs but as far as it goes for outright just weeders there aren't that many actually most of the ones that there were were similar widths as this all the ones that were a little bit bigger were just more expensive so it just made sense to go with this so I'm going to see you later. Just look at the field now. Yeah, see you later on when the weeding's done. <laughs> ah dear. What am I like? It's 10 past 11. We're done with the weeding on the field just behind the trees there. We are in luck. Um, that's 4,231. So we're going to collect on that. I need to take the weeder back. But we've had loads more contracts pop up. We've got another one for harvesting there for corn. But it's also for Sheila McFarland. And we've already got one for Sheila McFarland just there. So because it's the same person, who owns the fields, we won't need to borrow equipment because we've already got equipment from her, so we can just accept the contract. And then we can just take the equipment from the first contract over to the second one, because it's all hers anyway. So, so that's another one. No, I suppose it's not too expensive. So we're going to accept the contract on that. So we've got sunflower, and we've got two corn contracts to do, which should pay out quite nicely. They're all going to the selling station, so that's not too bad. Uh, there's still the ploughing. That one's still there. We've got a cultivating contract has popped up and we've got another bathing contract has popped up there as well. Another one for hay, actually, which I don't know whether I might do off camera if I get a chance. What I'm going to do is we'll drive this down now on my way through. We'll do the contract. Have I gone past? I have, haven't I, yet? Yeah. Swing around in the road. Avoiding knocking down road signs. That would be wonderful. And we'll get those two harvesters on the go. I think I need to go and get the X9 though. So what I'll do is, uh, I'll see you in a second. I'm just going to turn left down there. And we'll get, actually I can't run them both, can I? I'm just thinking, because that means hiring a worker. I suppose I could do. It'll speed up getting both done. I'll just have to take a little bit of a hit on the worker fees, I guess. Okay, I'll see you in a second. I'm going to get the X9 and we'll bring that over.
I've just realised I've only gone and done it again, haven't I? This is a beauty, isn't it? Isn't it nice? Um, I've done it again. I, I, in my excitement and thinking, oh, it's the same person, I can use the equipment. I've taken on two corn contracts, both of them going to the same sell point. Potentially that should be better than the train. I should be able to complete one than the other. Mm, maybe. We'll see how that pans out. <laughs> Seem to do that a lot. Let's open that up and open that up. We'll get this going. I'll do a couple of head on the other ends. We've got a bit of space this end. We've got the Mac Pinnacle 6x4, I guess. And then I'll get the, um, the Lexian going, which is just at the northern part of the field. This one's more straightforward because it's just Sunflower, one sail point, one contract. Oh, what am I going to learn? I just get so wrapped up in what I'm thinking, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do moving forward, working out the way I'm going to do the contracts, how I'm going to get them to run. And I just keep forgetting those, two, those fundamentals, those basics. Two contracts. Same crop type, same sail point, sometimes causes issues. Like I said, hopefully it'll be better. It's not by train, but we'll see. Doesn't help that we shade the trees. Next couple of runs, backwards and forwards, we should be out of the, out of the shadows. Nice to do a bit of sunflower. But then, as I said, we're in November, we've got November 1, 2, 3, and then we're into December. December, there's nothing to harvest. And if, we, if we're very quick, if we go up to there, we've got nothing. December, January, February. Oh, so yeah, that, we're going to have some lean months. So I need to build up a head of steam now. I mean, like I said before in the last episode, in previous episodes, I'm enjoying the fact I'm getting to use the big equipment now. Just when it's our own fields, we won't have big equipment. Although I'll probably still pick up contracts here and there, or if they're available, I do think I will. What's that head of it going up and down? That's down. Oh, okay, that seems very high. So I'll so do a strip um, south, north, north, south. And then I can set the other one off. It shouldn't take too long to do this field, not with two harvesters going. And then the other field we're doing the contract on is field 26. I'll go there. Uh, let's go off of that one. Yeah, 26 right across. So yeah, we're on the uh, right on the western edge. We're going to go right over to the eastern edge, and we'll do field 26 for corn and field 23 as well. So let's see how that pans out. I know I keep saying it, but wow, these farmers locally, they've got some nice gear, haven't they? Some top quality schmutter. Although, oh, there might be two harvesters running, should be nice, but I'm just trying to think time-wise. Yeah, we're going to be to the dark end. I think what we'll do, we'll get the, the um, sunflower done, because I said sunflower is something we haven't done yet corn I've done the corn harvest already so we'll make a start on the corn harvest whichever field we start on it probably makes more sense to do the closer field first and then we'll go right the way out rather than driving all the stuff out and all the old stuff back again and luckily we can use the pinnacle with the uh, is it a distinction what flower have we got for delivering all of it so that will be okay as well and then I'm just thinking, if, if it's still available, because I've had contracts disappearing quite quickly. Those three are probably going to stay for a while. Cultivating the plough, and I might pick up those, because again, it's not too much of a hit borrowing their equipment. Isn't it? 
it's weird, isn't it? It's a double edged, a double edged, a double edged, a double edged sword. In that, I like the fact that because I'm on hard mode and because yes, we are making money, but it's big fields. Yeah, we've talked about that already. I'm having to really think about the use of workers on other let's plays when I've had, like I said, uh, when I've had ways of making money that have been yeah, possibly a bit easier, or I've got to a point where I'm more comfortably off and I've got stuff in place. Often it takes a while, you build up all of your, whatever it is you need, all of your produce, all of the Jerison things, setting things up ready to go, and then you get that one production, you get something going that then starts ticking over. Once you hit that ticking over point, you can relax a bit and say, okay, now I can afford to do, you know. So, it's cool that I'm having to really think about what I'm doing, and you think I'd think a bit more. <laughs> Who was it messaged me yesterday? Is it Jeremy? Um, we, ha we have a, a, a passive-aggressive, even really, mocking, a mocking relationship where he mocks me and I laugh. Um, just about being old farts playing the game and, you know, those things that you think, well, have you forgotten that again? It just happens, you know. Like I say, I get kind of caught up. If you, if you consider if you're playing the game at home, if you're not making videos, if you're not recording, if you're not having to talk to anyone, if you're just making, if you're just playing the game, your sole focus is on that. When my focus is split between so many different things all at the same time, you know, even like little things that I don't think about consciously, but things like camera angles, you know, while I'm doing it, thinking, you know, I would like to see more of this harvester. I would like to see more of this particular product being done. Um, I don't necessarily want to just see it from behind or, you know, in cab or whatever. No. Um, whereas if, I guess if you're just playing the game just for you, you might not do that. You might just think, well, actually, no, I'm happy going up and down like this. I, I don't, you know, I know what it looks like. I don't need to, you know. So there's all sorts of stuff that has to sort of has to be done. Uh, so when we get up to the Lexion, we'll get that going. We are getting on towards lunchtime. No time to stop for lunch, we've got too much to get done. I am wondering how long it's going to take. I mean, to be fair, once we get out of November, any crops left are going to wither. Um, so I thought the, the cotton that's left, that contract stays sitting there. If the you, then if I can't complete it, then that I end up with um, a load of cotton, uh, cotton sap and a contract I can't complete, which is a worry. I don't really want to do it. I mean, I could do the entire harvest, I'm just with bales sat there and I'm tied up with a contract, so yeah, that's probably not the best idea, is it? I thought that maybe would work, but I don't think it will. Right, let's jump in this. Don't open pipe out. Open yet, harvest is open. We'll take a hit on the worker, like I say, hopefully it'll be a bit quicker. And off it goes. What I'll probably do, we'll unload into the lorry on the way past, and then I'll get going and get this field done. We'll get it delivered and see if we have any crop left. If we do, great. If we don't, again, not the end of the world. I'm going to... How long has it got long enough in the pipe? We have. I thought I need to fold the, halves, the header up, but I don't. The pipe's long enough. We should be able to go into the back. Oh, so it would be a good idea if I actually opened the cover. There we go, right. Oh. It's all good. Yeah, it's a distinction, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was. It's quite nice. Fast unload speed, isn't it? A 
let's go. So, we'll see what we end up with. I'm going to keep an eye top right. Let's just see how, how quickly that's... Uh, that money's coming down. The Lexian nearly has a full tank. I tell you what, we've done really well. We've cleared this way quicker than I thought we would, and we haven't actually paid out too much so far on worker fees. Is this slowing down? There we go. Perfect. Uh, I'll let him finish off while I go and deliver this. I've got about five and a half, six thousand litres in the X9. This isn't going to be enough because that's got 18,000 litres in it. We haven't got enough. We haven't got 18,000. Oh, that might be alright. I'll empty this completely. So I'm thinking what we've got on here might be enough to complete the contract with a little bit left over. We'll see how that pans out. We'll let that carry on. That'll finish working in a minute. And then when we've done that, uh, we'll switch them over. The X9 I can fold the header. This one I can't. So what I'll do is put this on the header trailer, which is just over there. And we're just going to go to the field just through there. That's right, isn't it? I'm going to double check again, just, you know, as I do. Yes, yeah, so the one we can see there is the one that's got a lime on it. We want the one next to it, so just through. Okay, and we're definitely going down to... Let's go back up to here. Where are we? Uh, yes, yeah, selling station. Cool, right. Let's go and get the little bit. Oh, maybe we won't be filled up then. It's cold enough at the moment, the ground's not claggy, we haven't had any rain for a while, so we're all right for taking the uh, semi. Taking the rig onto the field. That's not got much left, to be fair. And we haven't got far to go to unload, actually. Let's turn the engine on. Actually, we might get it all in one load. There can't be much left on the field. We're going to be just shy by a little bit, aren't we? For space. <laughs> of course we are. Let's uh, that as well. So while that's finishing off and we haven't got a full load on the lorry yet, I'm going to take this over. Let's fold it out for the time being. For road safety, to be fair, let's get the beacons on because we are quite wide. This didn't come with a header trailer um, as part of the contract, so we haven't really got a lot of choice here. It's really interesting with traffic. Wow, okay. <laughs> like I said, I'll get the we'll, we'll do the sunflower, we'll get that delivered. So that'll be a weeding contract done, sunflower harvest done, and some sunflower delivered to complete that contract. Um, but I can't complete it. I don't want to complete it because I've got the equipment for both contracts. So I... What? No! <gasps> Just damage the header on the telegraph pole. Don't tell Sheila, please. Oh, come on, this car's doing my head on. Go. Just go. How are we going to get across this bridge? Okay, please, nothing come your way. Please, nothing come your way. This is why you need a, an escort normally. Right, let's get off the field, off the road, just onto the field slightly. There we go. 
Looks like it's just a clear filter. I mean, I don't need sewing contracts for winter crops or anything. That side. This is the field we want. So let's unfold the header again. Actually, what I'll do is back up away from the sign. Right, let's go and complete the other one, the sunflower. We'll get that sorted, get that delivered, then we'll get the harvester over. I am right, aren't I? I borrowed equipment. So those two are both for Sheila, and I'm using the same equipment for both of those, but that one, yeah, that's the one that came with the, um, the Lexian, so I've got to be careful. We've only got 1,546 litres here. What's the bet it won't fit in? <laughs> That'd be just typical, wouldn't it? Come on. Be good to me. <laughs> 234 litres. Ah. Uh... Okay, well it's 234 litres, I'm not... Actually what I will do, while I'm here. While I'm in it, we might as well put the header back on the uh, trailer. And then we'll be good to go over to the field. Right! Let's get this delivered. See what we get. Let's line up as best we can. I'll leave that there, that way we can get sorted on my back. <sighs> okay. The thing I need to make sure is that we're on the front unload first and then we'll work our way work our way through. So cover on. Yes. Then we go to Nope. That. We are on tip side front. Cool. Hopefully the train doesn't come because we don't have a, a signal here or barriers. Come on now, don't bottom out. Well, it's just my luck. Oh, just imagine getting to a point where we've got one of these. We can have a lorry and a big trailer. It just seems like such a long way off. Whoa, that's bumpy. Turn just down here. Got enough room? I think we have. Cool. Okay. So when I get to the third tank, I've just got to keep an eye top right for when it contract completes so we see how much we've got. If we end up, again, if we end up with anything, if we do, great. If we don't, not the end of the world. So oh, just round the corner. It's interesting that having put in a new cell point, the game just seems to be it seems to be defaulting to that cell point all the time. There must be other cell points we can take them to, but it's interesting. Right. First tank. I think we'll be alright with the first tank. Okay, let's switch to the next tank. Just 
done. Final tank. Keep an eye on it. Something's changed. I don't understand what's going on. It's weird. Some of the earlier contracts we were left with on similar size fields, 18, 20,000 litres of crop. And then having switched things around a little bit, deselecting those various different mods that were causing problems with the train deliveries, the last two contracts I've done, I've been left with barely anything. It's weird. But I think both the sorghum contracts I did, or one of the sorghum contracts, was 20,000 litres I had left. The original oat one was 18,000 litres left. That one, I mean, I maybe could have got away with you know, 5,000 litres if I'd have been a bit more careful, but. Hmm. I wonder what's changed. So our corn harvest, the first one, that's going to be interesting as well. So our first corn harvest was this one here, field seven, wasn't it? So looking at field yeah, 23 and 26, so smaller than field seven. But we ended up with, how much have we got in storage corn waste? 21,000 litres. So we had, what do we have? 7,000, I say? Uh, sorry, 17 or 18,000 litres of corn left over from that field. Yeah, maybe it is about right. Just doesn't seem as much as I thought. Oh, it didn't show as well, did I? My seed. You know, I used um, all of the oats. And then I said I was going to run the sorghum through, which I did. Uh, seeds, we got 103,000 litres. So running all my oats through that, or that um, seed treatment auger and then doing the sorghum through it as well, 103,000. So as far as seeding goes, we shouldn't have a problem. Um, okay, well, I mean, at the end of the day, it's... So over 4,000 litres of sunflower, whatever I decide to do with it, that's fine. I'm going to whiz out and just get that last 200 and whatever it was, 243 litres out of the trailer, uh, out of the harvester. Then I'll get the harvester taken over and I'll get this taken over and we'll get the corn contract underway. And then, yeah, like I say, I think I've, because I've already done my job, I just like using the X9 as well. Nothing wrong with the Lexian. The Lexian's a lovely harvested too. Okay, spare sunflower is into the silo, so I'm just going to... This is going to be a little bit easier because the lexion's fairly narrow anyway, plus I've got the header on the back on the trailer. So we shouldn't have too much trouble with traffic. I'm still going to move over a little bit though, just to make sure I'm not over the centre line. And then we'll get this one done as well. I'm concerned, I don't know, I'm, I don't know whether or not to do these two corn harvests with just the one harvester now. I could do with speeding it all up by having two running, I guess we'll still continue to hire a worker. It's just in the back of my mind that thing of, if, if I complete a contract I can pick another one up, so the ploughing one that's available, which, which is fairly lucrative, I could grab that now and make sure I've secured it. But at the end of the day, you know what, we'll roll the dice. We'll just do what we're going to do anyway. Whatever contracts are left when I'm done, will be the contracts that are left when I'm done. Stop there. Let's disconnect from the trailer. Let's open up the harvester. Hold it.
let's rock and roll. I'll get this going, and then I'll do the same as I did before with the X9. I'll get the X9 going around the edges, but this one, let's just check the sat nav. Oh, yeah, it's not shape filled, isn't it? If I stop here, let's just check that again. Yeah, if I stop here and set the worker off going straight across, it will do a full strip, then I can worry about tying up the rest later on. Let's line my snoots up with the gaps. And away we go. Oh, if the beacon's going. Yeah, that's right. The beacons will go off again when it's full anyway. 1.30 in the afternoon. Money's up a little bit. We'll complete on that contract in a bit. Get these two contracts done. Just have a bit more money in the bank, which will be nice. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do, whether I pick up that bailing contract off camera. Uh, like I say, there is the ploughing one. There's a cultivating one available at the moment. Oh, hang on. These are new. Oh, sugar bit again. Another sunflower one for 14 grand. That's just popped up. Oh, Different person though, Richard Miller, but we get to use a case. And that's going to Mount Vernon. Okay, that's not too bad then. Um, oh, that one's worth 17 grand then. See what I mean? They, what they're doing to me. Making my decisions so much harder. If I'm going to hire a worker, do I just decide, you know what? I'll do these two contracts with one harvester, complete on that one, and then pick up another contract which I can get going and hire a worker. That way I know I've definitely got three contracts on the go. Then once I finish the corn harvests, you know what, I might well do that. Farm Manager 22. <laughs> let's start it up. And let's get it going. So, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. 25 to 2 in the afternoon before it gets dark. It starts to get dark about 3, 4 o'clock this time of year. And I say, I'll tell you something I've noticed as well here on Griffin, Indiana. Is um, when it gets to like proper night time, even with my torch on, all the lights on the vehicles, it's dark. I mean, properly dark. Pitch black. Some maps, you, you know, you get plenty of light, ambient light from the moon or whatever, and you, you know, you get your light from your vehicles. But I find it gets into that real, that real dark time, you know, the witching hour. And um, even with your lights on your vehicles, you can barely see anything. So, yeah, I try and avoid that time of night, if at all possible. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do what I was just saying. Uh, what, I'll, what I'll probably do then is I'll let that Lexion swing around and come back. When it gets to this end, I'll unload it. Because I'm pretty sure the Lexion came with the two small trailers and the tractor that's over at the, the, the um, over at the store, and the corn contracts came with the Mac. So I'll keep hold of this and the Mac, and we'll do the two corn fields because they're both for Sheila. Leroy's will complete on, and then we'll take on that other one, and I'll get the, the, the other harvester going on that. Like so, if I'm going to pay a work for a worker anyway, which I'm paying now. I might as well have the worker going on another contract. I'll get another one done at the same time. I'll do that. That's the plan. If you have enjoyed it, if you're still enjoying it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.